Hey everyone, recently I was talking with a colleague of mine who is new to the watch hobby and we were discussing watch winders and that gave me the idea of this video. So today we're diving into how to use a luxury watch winder like a pro and why investing in a higher quality winder like this Enig Watch Virtuoso model can make a big difference in keeping your watches safe and ready to wear. The Enig Watch Virtuoso Series 12 watch winder is designed for serious collectors who need to keep multiple watches wound and ready. It's got a smooth, ultra-quiet motor, multiple rotation settings, and a sleek design that fits beautifully in any collection space. Plus, it's not just about style, it's also functional on a whole different level. Now that said, if you're like my colleague, you may not need to jump into such a large winder. Instead, I'd recommend starting off with a two watch winder or possibly the six count if you plan to grow your automatic watch collection in the future. The statement, you get what you pay for, often rings true in many aspects of life, and that is also the case with watch winders. Cheap winders can do more harm than good. A high-end winder like this one ensures that your watches are wound consistently without risking magnetization or overwinding. This is especially crucial for automatic watches with specific rotation needs. If you're liking the look of this brand and want to see more, be sure to check out my previous video where I covered the basics of watch winders and what to look for. I'll also put a link in the description so you can go back and check that out after this video. Every automatic watch has its own requirements for rotation, direction, and frequency. Some need clockwise rotations, some counterclockwise, and some alternate between both. The Virtuoso and the Impresario models both make this easy by allowing you to customize settings for each watch position. You may find the specifics in your owner's manual of how many rotations are recommended for your watch brand and movement, as well as which direction to rotate the watch in order to keep it wound. If you have trouble finding those details, or if your watch didn't come with an owner's manual, I've linked a website in the video description that covers the majority of movements and brands out there, which can be super helpful. One of the lesser known hazards of cheaper winders is magnetization, which can throw off a watch's timekeeping ability. Higher end models like the Virtuoso and Impresario use materials and designs that help protect against this, ensuring your watch stays accurate. This can be especially risky for older vintage watches or more affordable watches that may not have as much anti-magnetism efforts put into their design. Now, aside from protection, a luxury winder like this is a long-term investment. It's quieter, smoother, and designed to accommodate your entire collection. It's like getting a tailored suit versus something off the rack. I mean, the quality just can't be beat. All right, that wraps up today's video. Remember, finding the right setting for your specific watch is key, and investing in a quality winder like the Enig Watch Virtuoso or Impresario model protects that investment in your timepieces. Don't forget to check out my other video if you're new to watch winders. And make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know your watch winder questions down below. As always, I can't wait to see you all at the next one. Until then, take care.